What's up guys, it's Cal, and in this video I'm going to talk about an achievement that was actually added in patch 7.3, but I just got around to doing it, and that's Fisher Friend of the Isles. Now, through getting this achievement, there's a lot of toys that you can get from it, and most of them are, uh, well, fishing bobbers. Oh, and also when you get this achievement, uh, you get a new appearance for your legendary fishing pole, so that's pretty cool. Now, first off, if you've done uh, Margos, who is, you know, the dude on the island that's off of Dalaran, this is essentially the same thing, times six. You fish up a currency specific to that NPC, turn them into the NPC for reputation towards that NPC, and then you can buy some fish, bait, and toys that that NPC sells with the fish up currency. The currency that you fish will only appear if the fishing area is like, sparkly. I guess, as you see. And that will only happen if you or someone in your raid fishes up a green quality item in the pond that can be used to spawn an NPC that once killed will turn the water sparkly. So with that being said, this is much better to do in a raid group. So open up your group finder, type in fish into the search bar, whatever, and you'll see raid groups doing this. Now these NPCs, there's six of them, they alternate every day, so no two NPCs will be up at the same time. So now let's take a look at them individually. The first one we're looking at is Keeper Rene, I think that's how you say that, uh, who's in Valshara and is at 53.41, 72.86. Now when you're at buddy status with her, you can buy some Moss Scale Perch Perch for 10 Corrupted Globules, that's the currency that you fish up. And then there's a few baits there. Uh, if you're a friend or a good friend. And then there's a recipe for Feast of Fishes, that's what it's called, for 50 Corrupted Globules. And this feast is, is actually kind of fun, to be honest. It's not difficult to make, it's just one of every fish, and uh, if you spend at least 10 seconds eating it, well, you turn into a fish. And you actually take damage if you aren't in water. But if you make your way to a body of water, well, your swim speed is increased by a lot. So with this, well, I mean, you can actually troll an LFR pretty good. And then the last thing she sells is a toy called Face of the Forest, which is a bobber. And that makes her fishing bobber look like a tree ant or something. Next up is a cool river horn who's in High Mountain and at chords 32.62, 40.8. And he's in, uh, he's in a boat that's right beside Thunder Totem. He sells the High Mountain Salmon, of course, and some baits. Now, he sells two toys. One of them is a totem that increases everyone's fishing by 10. If you're near it, that's uh, 50 totem fragments and rep of good friend. And then the other one is a bobber for 100 totem fragments at best friend. Next up is Corbin at Stormheim. Now, his cords are 90.7, 10.8. He's a bird, so try not to miss him, and his reputation names are different than the others. I guess it's because he's a bird, but th that really doesn't change anything at all. Now, he sells Storm Rays, of course, in exchange for shiny baubles, uh, then some baits, no one really cares about those, and then a crate of squeaky duck bobbers as a toy. You might already have this because if you've done Margos, uh, he sells the same thing as well. Now, that of course changes your bobber to a duck, and I believe it's uh, 50 shiny baubles. Then he sells a stingray pup, uh, which is battle pets for 100 shiny baubles at the reputation of best friend. Then we have Impus on Broken Shores at 33.7, 49.8. The currency you fish up for him is desecrated seaweed, and will sell some uh, black barracuda. For 10 of those at Buddy, he sells a message in a beer bottle for 25 seaweed at Friend Reputation, which when you open this will give you, it gives you a lure, I'm pretty sure. Just a lure. He also sells a stunned angry shark for 25 seaweed at Friend. Now this shark is actually pretty good at leveling your legendary fishing pole. If you buy it, you want to make sure you're on land when you spawn it. So it just flops around, it's a shark, just flops around the land, and uh, you want to kill it from a distance. Or if you're melee, try and get behind it. I don't know. It's easy for me as a hunter, but I've just heard if, uh, that he could hit you pretty hard as melee. I'm not too sure on that though. He will then drop like 5 to 10 squids that you can throw in the water and it gets your fishing skill up or levels your legendary fishing pole with it. There's a much better way of leveling your legendary fishing pole through this achievement, but I'll get to that later. So he sells another bait at 25 seaweeds uh, at good friend reputation, then a desecrated seaweed shirt for 50 at rep of good friend. So that's obviously a shirt that you can get for transmog. Then a demon noggin for 100 seaweed at best friend. It makes your bauble look like a demon hunter head or something. Now we have Alicia of the Waters in Ajuna. She's located at 43.21, 40.55, or as you can see on the map, she of course sells some cursed queen fish for 10 
fragmented enchantments at buddy status. And then some bait. Uh, she sells a ghost shark at good friend for 50 fragmented enchantments. This is a pet by the way. Then an enchanted bobber toy for 100 uh, fragmented enchantments at best friend status. And that makes your bobber look like some enchanted elven statue. Then last, but certainly not least, this brings us to Sheleth in Suramara at 50.71, 49.34. Now this one acts a bit differently on how to acquire the fishable currency. Now there's this moving green blob uh, around the pond that is always there, but it moves. If you fish in it and catch something while your bobber is still in the green circle, you can get a golden minnow which are her currency, but you won't get a lot. I think you'll only get like one to two at a time, whereas the other fishable currencies, you got like three to four. But the trick here is fishing up the more rare green item that I talked about at the beginning that spawns an ad. The Suramar one is called a glowing fish scale. Now once this ad spawns, everyone in the group will want to tag it, and it will drop a bunch of golden minnows once it dies, like maybe 15 or 25, somewhere around there. Due to how often people are getting the glowing scales, this one went by pretty fast for me. Now what she sells, rune scale of koi, then some baits, but then a good friend for 25 golden minnows, she sells a sleeping murloc. Now this is the item that you can grind AP for your legendary fishing pole with. You want to stand at an area away from people on a colored tile ground that's around you, so like not grass, or you might lose fish. Use the murloc and you'll spit up a whole bunch of fish in the air onto the ground as he's running around. He's he's a murloc that runs around. Now these fish can be rune scale koi, which sells pretty good on my server at least. They can be those crappy mackerel, whatever it's called. It's so crap that my mind has actually blocked out the name of it. And then a significant amount of sear pine puffers that you can throw in the pond for fishing pole AP. So there's that. And then she sells a lay scale koi for only five minnows at good friend. Uh, that only gives you like 25 ancient mana, don't bother. And then a replica gondola toy for 100 minnows best friend which makes your bobble look like a gondola and well that's it oh and you can only hold a hundred of these fishable currencies at a time so keep that in mind but i mean that's really it guys you fish up some things turn them into the npcs for rep and then fish up more things to buy toys and when you get to good friend status with all of those npcs you get the fisher friend of the isles achievement and that's it if you guys like the video you can leave a like on it you can sub to the channel for more videos like this and i'll see you guys in the next video